I'm going to demonstrate how to use the internal rate of return function that's in uh, Excel or on your financial calculator here to determine an unknown interest rate. And the example would be for a notes payable or receivable where when it was issued you'd have you know the present value here say it was twenty seven hundred dollars and then when it's receivable or payable out at the end of the fourth period or fourth year you know the future value which is four thousand dollars but you don't know the interest rate and what you have here is a difference here of thirteen hundred dollars between the present value and the future value here and this would be uh, the implied interest expense or revenue that you have to account for on that exchange of that notes receivable or payable so what we're going to have to do is we have to determine that interest rate so we can amortize the loan here over the over amortize the interest expense or revenue over the life of that loan so to calculate our interest rate we use this internal rate of return function so if you look up here at the cash flow say we had the present value here we made an investment twenty seven hundred dollars and then at the end of year four we got uh, a return on that say it was four thousand dollars so you just put that into your calculate or into the excel formula here and you'll come up with ten point three three percent interest so that's important because when we come to amortize that interest expense or revenue over the um, notes payable or receivable we have to know the interest rate so um, here you take the beginning balance times the interest rate you get your interest expense and then you add those two together and you get an ending balance here and then the ending balance here becomes the beginning balance of the next year and do the same thing proceed on doing the same thing here to amortize that interest expense or revenue so uh, just to review here we have got a known present value and a known future value and we had to determine the interest rate and we did that by uh, using the internal rate of return function here and in this case it was with Excel so it can be very useful this internal rate of return function when you have to start uh, calculating interest uh, amortize interest and so forth okay let's look at how we can use the internal rate of return function to determine the interest rate on a annuity type payment with uh, notes receivable or payable say we've got a present value of thirty two hundred dollars here and we know that we have uh, four payments here say of a thousand dollars each and they amount here to fourth future value of four thousand dollars that we're going to receive on that notes uh, or pay or receive on that notes payable or receivable so here we got the four thousand less the thirty two hundred and we get eight hundred dollars here that we have to account for uh, interest expense or revenue over the life of the uh, notes receivable or payable so we have to be able to we have to know what the interest rate is here to uh, amortize that interest revenue or expense over the life of that notes receivable or payable so here's what we would do we'd go and put it into our internal rate of return function here where we have a minus thirty two hundred dollars in the beginning year one and then we had four payments here of a thousand dollars each so put it into our internal rate of return uh, function and we'll come up with a nine point five per six percent interest now that would be our unknown interest expense here or interest rate excuse me and then we'd use that interest rate here to uh, amortize our interest expense or revenue so if, for example we got thirty that thirty two hundred dollars balance here and then we take it times our interest rate that we calculated and then come up with our interest expense less our payment and then we get an ending balance and we just continue amortizing this interest expense or revenue in that fashion so just in review here we had a present value that we knew of our say our notes receivable payable or some financial instrument and then we had um, annuity type payments here where we received equal payments over the duration of that in financial instrument and then put uh, putting those payments along with the present value into our internal rate of return function we were able to do uh, determine the interest rate and that's the interest rate we'd use here for uh, amortizing this notes receivable or payable over the 
life of the uh, instrument.